Hi everybody, this is Tasha and um, it's been a while, not a very long while and I'm um, happy if you've been here all through with me. If you're new to this channel, please do click on the subscribe button and know that we value you a lot. And for those who have been here all through, thank you so much for your patience and uh, for those who have been watching these videos to the fullest, I salute you guys. Thanks for watching. And today's topic, I'm going to talk more about more of going deeper in your relationship with God. But the topic today is going to be about the life of God. Now, let me give you a heads up concerning this thing. If I talk about anything right now, I need you to know that I'm not talking about it in the whole perspective, the way it should be like covered in whole, like everything concerning it. I'm handling it from my level, like from what I've learned from God, from what I've learned in my relationship with God. I, I don't want to, to bring you something that I'm not sure about. I'll only talk to you about what I'm sure of and what I know. So, I'll handle this topic according to my, to whatever I believe the Spirit of God has been teaching me. And I hope you'll be blessed. So, the life of God. Many people have been wondering, like, you hear preachers saying or other people saying that when you read the scriptures, you kind of, you kind of, you need to get the life out of that scripture. And you've also heard of people saying that the Spirit of God speaks to them. There are different angles to this thing, like very different angles. But the angle I'm going to cover it on is concerning prayer. Because um, let me take you first to the book of uh, to the book of John chapter three verse six. It says, "Flesh gives birth to flesh, but the spirit gives birth to spirit." So, so. Spirit gives birth to spirit. It means that for you to have gotten whatever you 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 want to hear from God, from the of for you to get whatever you want, or for God to begin to speak to you through His Spirit, then it means that you have been interacting with the Spirit of God. So it means you are in the Spirit, like you are. You are relating with him in the spirit. And that is when he begins to to bring you to dimension of things that you didn't know. Or begin to teach you something. Or begins to expose you to a certain angle of things that you did not look at them like that. And, um, and kind of, majorly it's always like he reveals something to you that is going to take you to much more deeper level with him. And it's always going to set you free. Like it liberates you. Because the Bible tells us that where the Spirit of God is, there is liberty. Like he sets us free. And there is the truth. He is the truth. So you find that he gives you in portions, but it, be it begins like that. So engaging in the Spirit. Engaging in the Spirit, you cannot say that you've been eat. Okay, okay, I'm not saying eating is bad. Okay, you can eat and still pray. But you cannot say that you've not been praying, you've been doing your own things, and then you are like, yeah, I'm hearing from the Spirit of God. I'm engaging with God, like I'm relating with the Holy Spirit. And the truth is you've not even, you've not even, how do we call it? You have not even been praying. You have not even gotten to a certain level. So let me, okay. for you to reach a level where the Spirit of God begins to speak or to talk to you over a certain scripture or to reveal something deeper to you. And, and this revelation is different from other angles of revelation because it comes when you've gone into prayers. I don't know how the Spirit of God will lead you because for me it might be a certain number of, of, of maybe hours for another person, it can be just one hour. It depends. I don't. I I cannot tell how the spirit of God actually deals with people. So, 
you can reach a certain level and then you, in your prayers but majorly most of these prayers if if it has to go for long then know that it has to be by the help of the spirit of god otherwise you will be stranded you will reach 30 minutes even 30 minutes you won't hit you will reach a few minutes and you'll be tired do you say you prayed everything so what i'm trying to say is that it takes the spirit of god for you to reach that length that he has prescribed for you like he tell you he, he can tell you like i want you to pray for this number of hours if you re- by the time you're reaching that 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 threshold or that amount of time that he gave you you find that he begins to speak to you like he reveals something and whatever he's always revealing is always like it's i don't know how to tell you but it gives life like it renews you in a way it's something that energizes you even if you are feeling like things were not working but sort of sort of when you hear what he's saying it kind of gives you that energy it it strengthens you there's just i cannot explain it very well unless you experience it for yourself but i know some of you who are watching this video have, have experienced that kind of atmosphere with him and you've experienced it and it kind of flows for a while because he keeps on opening up things that you need to know these ones and this and that and and it's like these things that he's teaching you their spirit i'm not talking about okay i'm not talking about what you what what is hidden in your past or whatever happened that is trying to reveal to you that this is what led to this you know i'm talking about he can reveal in that angle too but i'm talking about something that he reveals to you that actually helps you to get closer to your destiny or helps you to get closer to what he ordained for you so these things they are always like they push you it's it's sort of a spirit and it it gives you life in a way and when you detach from that kind of life you will know you've lost something you will know like okay if if he begins to speak with you like today he will be consistent tomorrow if you come and do what he has told you to do like pray as usual the way you need to be praying and all that he will continue speaking to you but when you reach a point where you begin to dwell more on the flesh you forget praying and all that then he will cease from speaking with you and when that happens again you know that you are not at a certain level in the spirit like you you've gone down spiritually you are level you yourself you can assess you can assess and know where whether you are here or you've gone here or you are here so that is one thing that happens now i said this kind of life okay i said that this kind of life is born majorly when you've prayed maybe some people they get it differently but for me it's always happens majority of the times when i've gone to a certain level in prayers that's when that life begins to now come in and it kind of i don't know I don't know you people should experience this thing for yourself so that you you know how it feels how 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 it gives you it kind of just it's refreshing particularly if you're still growing into into your relationship with God and you hear him speaking to you and you hear him teaching you and you hear him telling you this and that and all that